Hi everyone, my name is Bill Sanborn. I work for Hypertherm's after sales team. I'd like to talk with you a little bit about a topic we have found really helpful in our customers' understanding of plasma. We Have you ever wondered about the purpose of the electrode and nozzle inside the high-definition HBRs and the X-definition XBR systems? We get questions all the time regarding this, and today we will be providing a high-level overview on what is actually happening inside the torch and consumables when you initiate a start sequence. We will start by looking at the three components of plasma. Gas, power, and ignition are the three components needed to create an arc. If any one of these components are missing, you will not get an arc. The power supply is used to provide a constant DC cutting current for the arc. Inside the power supply, there is a chopper assembly which helps create the DC cutting current and sends it to the electrode in the torch. This makes the electrode negative in this electrical circuit. Since every electric circuit needs to be completed with current flowing from negative to positive, we need a way to complete the circuit shown here. This is done by using a mechanical relay called a pilot arc relay. This relay temporarily puts the nozzle in the circuit to help start the arc. When the relay is closed, the nozzle is positive. When the relay is open, the nozzle is isolated from the circuit. When you initiate a start command to the power supply, it fires the high frequency transformer, which provides a very high voltage in the nozzle. This voltage is high enough that it jumps the air gap between the electrode and nozzle, creating a spark. The start command also sends preflow gases to the torch. Preflow gas is set at a much lower pressure to avoid blowing out the arc. You never want current in the torch without gas present. Once high frequency arc has been sent to the torch, the DC current is increased from the chopper to the torch. In most cases, this will be about 20 amps and is called a pilot arc. The preflow gas will help push the arc out of the torch while it is still connected to the nozzle. When the pilot arc touches the work plate, DC current is now flowing through the work plate and back on the work lead, which is connected to the positive side of the chopper, completing the electrical circuit. Once a minimum of seven amps is read on the work lead, the pilot arc relay opens and increases the resistance for the nozzle so that it is easier for the arc to transfer to the work plate instead of the nozzle. This is also the time when the gas pressures are increased to the cut flow settings along with the current being increased to the set current for this process selected, which stabilizes the arc. There are a couple things to keep in mind here. Routine maintenance is essential for maintaining optimal system performance and especially for sustaining a good arc starting circuit. The condition of the pilot arc relay is important to consumable life and should be changed yearly. Compressed air quality is critical to the proper arc initiation. Any moisture or oil in the air will cause the arc to transfer inside the torch leading to bad part quality and bad consumable life. Cleanliness in the torch and consumables during inspections and assembly are imperative. Any oil, dirt, metal dust, or petroleum-based products from your hands during assembly will cause damage to the consumables and torch assembly and may not allow the arc to transfer to the workpiece. I hope this short video answered some questions you may have had regarding the arc initiation for our high-definition, X-definition power supplies. Stay tuned for more tricks and tips from all of us here at Hypotherm.